Latin America has come a very long way since the debt crises of the 1980s and 90s. The OECD applauds the region's low deficits and reduced debt and says that will limit the damage of the economic storm blowing its way. But the organisation says the crisis highlights the need for a fairer economy, which will have to be paid for by higher taxes on the rich. In Europe in general, in the United States, as well as in Latin America, there are big differences in the distribution of income. But then, of course, you apply taxes and you apply social security contributions and social security benefits. And the, the uh, inequality in Europe is reduced almost by half, in the United States by more than a third. In Latin America, it stays more or less the same. At the moment, government revenues in Latin America are dangerously dependent upon income from commodities such as coffee, sugar and oil, whose prices are volatile. The OECD says Latin America needs to raise taxes to something closer to North American levels to fund poverty relief and education and defuse what the OECD believes to be a political time bomb. Inequality sometimes is producing these results where people are saying, I love democracy, I prefer democracy, but I'd probably be willing to trade off a little bit of the democracy for a little improvement in my uh, material livelihood every day. And that's very dangerous. Here at the OECD, they say there's a limit to the extent you can raise taxes in order to reduce inequalities. Tax people too much and they stop working so hard. But for Latin America, the OECD says that raising taxes is a price well worth paying for securing the future of a region that's starting to look like an economic success story. John Lawrenson, OECD TV, Paris.